It seems that everybody knows something about Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. They've either read something about them, or they've heard something about them, or they've seen the terrific movie with Redford and Newman. But in that movie is this wonderful, beautiful character played by Catherine Ross called Etta Place. Well, who was at a place? Well, I went to take a look to find out who she was and found out that there was almost nothing known about her historically. Nobody knows where she came from. Nobody knows who her parents are. Nobody knows whether or not that was her real name or, or an alias. And nobody knows what happened to her after 1909. Well, I was absolutely astounded. I said, how can this fascinating historical figure who we know was a real person because there is a photograph of her taken at the beginning of the 20th century with Harry Longbaugh, the Sundance Kid. How can we know almost nothing about this person? So I decided that it might be fun to write a story about her, especially since I basically had carte blanche because nothing was known. All of the women I know are strong women. That's the only kind of women I've ever been to and really quite frankly the only kind of women I like. So I couldn't imagine making Etta a, a passive character, a damsel in distress who has to be rescued by somebody else. In my book, Etta rescues herself and does it very effectively even to the point where she beats the hell out of the book's major villain. My Etta is a kick-ass take no prisoners heroine. Yes, she is very refined because of her Philadelphia society upbringing. She is well-mannered, but she's also a devil with a horse and a gun. And uh, she's exactly the kind of person who I think the real Etta would have been. What my book is, is what they used to call a ripping yarn. A lot of uh, Etta talks about dime novels, the old dime novels of the Old West, in which you would read these wonderful stories about Wild Bill Hickok and Bat Masterson and Calamity Jane. This is the kind of book I wanted to write, an almost modern dime novel that was full of thrills and action. And although I hope the book is well written and has literary merit, for the reader, I want it to be rip-snorting and a rootin' tootin' adventure. <laughs>